Hello everyone, uh, welcome to our webinar. Uh, I'm Megan, I'm an account manager here at Clarkswell and I'm going to be interviewing our lovely client Baker Tilly International about their new website. Uh, I'm joined by Adam Granger who is the Chief Information Officer at Baker and also Neil Robinson who is their Digital Marketing Executive um, and these two um, were basically responsible for the whole of their website transformation so they're really well suited to be discussing this. Uh, Adam, why don't you tell me a little bit about the business and how much digital plays into that? Yep, so uh, Baker Tilly International is a world, worldwide network of accounting, advisory, consulting uh, firms. We're present in over 145 territories worldwide, one of the top 10 uh, international accounting advisory networks. Um, digital plays a massive part in, in what we do as, as with almost any business nowadays, but given our the global nature of the work that not only we are providing, but all of our member firms are providing, having that presence for anybody anywhere to see um, is, is absolutely in, imperative. Uh, and our website, the actual Baker Tilly International website is a key conduit to international clients or potential clients. Um, finding out about the network and then being uh, driven through to our individual member firms who are able to serve, um, service them in, in almost every territory um, across the world, particularly all the major economies throughout Europe, North, North America, Latin America, uh, Asia Pacific and Middle East and Africa. And you can see on the screen now um, the size of our presence across each of those, each of those regions. Thank you. Uh, and Neil, can you tell me a little bit about your old site and what prompted you to move on to the new site? Sure. Um, so the old site um, was exactly that. It was a very old site. There had been um, a lack of investment in it over a number of years. And we'd waited a little bit too long in order to refresh it um, and, and invest in it. Um, so by the time um, we got to the point where it was critical that we, we had to do, um, it was, um, we just reached a point where we were about to launch a global rebrand which gave us the perfect opportunity to, to, to rebuild, um, start from scratch almost, uh, to put together a, a brand new site um, and redesign um, alongside, alongside the new brand um, and give us the site that we actually um, want to, to, to have going forward. And why did you choose Umbraco as your platform? So <clears throat> the main reason we chose Umbraco is because um, that's the system we've been using previously. Um, so we have a system where um, we have our site, but we also offer a build and host option for our member firms. Um, and we had um, in our previous, uh, the previous system we used, um, we had a, a, an umbrella site so that um, they were all listed in one place. Mm -hmm. We could build those sites for our member firms and um, provide training for them um, and let them um, manage their own websites. So being that um, it was a system that we knew already, that we were comfortable with um, and had experience with, as did our member firms, which means the training we would have to provide to them would have been um, that much less. They'd be that much more comfortable with it. It's decided that um, that was going to be something that we continue with. So from your, um, from Umbraco, are you able to edit the other member sites? That's right. I have um, access as a super user to all the websites. Uh, I can limit access um, for each of the member firms just to their Keep own. Them in check. Exactly. <laughs> Um, but, um, we, but we have them all in one place, um, managed yeah. by, by me and obviously you guys at Clark's well. Um, yeah. And that helps you to keep the brand consistent. Exactly. We can keep an eye on exactly what they do. Um, anything, mm -hmm. anyone steps out of line, we can give them a quick slap on the wrist. Mm -hmm. um, Adam, can you tell me about the steps that you went through to go from the old site to the new site? Because I know that when people are thinking about getting a new website, they might not be aware of all the steps it involves. It's not easy. It's not a simple task. It's got lots of thought and lots of processes. Can you? Yeah, I mean, it is. Um, it's it's actually it's a huge project. Um, the mm -hmm. more time you have, the better. I think typically, and from what we've heard recently, two to three years, maybe even longer, can be good. It depends on the business, and you know, if you're a governmental business compared to a company, uh, we actually got everything done in about four or five months. Um, but that was on the back of a big rebranding project that was mentioned earlier so we were going through a, a global rebrand ourselves and also our member firms that project probably had a good two years prior to us starting to to build the new website 
um, mm. coming up with what the new brand was, the new logo, the taglines, the color palette, everything that goes around yeah. that. And then the website had to encapsulate all of that. And in all honesty, is really one of the key elements to um, to push that yeah. outside externally, not but only with our own members, but pushing it out to the to the globe the was the website, especially a mobile friendly website with our social media that went around it. Mm-hmm. Um, so there was a huge amount of work there. But then when it comes down to the actual project for the website, you know, four to five months was was a really tight time frame because you're taking a load of great material that our branding group. Um, and brand working part here put together but you're taking that and have to transition that into an actual website so mm-hmm. you have to go through all the modeling steps um all of the the ux all of the testing the user testing and that takes a heck of a lot of time to get that yeah. right to How really translate take you? um so really from project kickoff and and Clerkswell knew that it was a very tight timeline we were able to do all of the sort of core four or five steps, um, like I said, the UX brand, build UAT, all within about four months. Um, now probably think, even tighter than that. Probably even fair. tighter, actually. We kicked off probably with four and a half months before our launch date. Actual build <laughs> work and testing and everything was probably all crammed into about mm-hmm. 10 to 12 weeks. Um, and yeah, we got it done. And, kept and you busy. <laughs> kept us busy. Um, and it was, obviously, it was well worth it. And we we got the result. And I think sometimes, you know, as ever, that focus time mm-hmm. was was actually very good. Because we knew this yeah. is what we had to do. We had to make the decisions. And luckily, we had the great work behind us of the, the brand group. We had a very good brand agency um, who supported us. And, and I suppose to be very fair to them and to sort of thank them and clerk school they work together closely along yeah, with us there was, with yeah there was no need for it to have to flow through neil and i and the rest of our team all the time mm. we were there we were copied in but the two were quite happy to work together and progress things and i suppose ultimately do what we wanted and be told by the experts that this is what you need from a brand point of view this is what you need from a ux point of view mm-hmm. here's your couple of options what do you want to go with and and that was really really good for us that worked well yeah um what are you doing now what's the website what's the so it's not gonna lie what's the yeah so we've got our obviously our own website which is the the global website which is really as i said the kind of the conduit through to our member firms to get clients potential clients or others to be able to get in touch straight away with firms in a particular um territory um for us it's obviously a huge marketing piece about what the network does and being able to explain to everyone all of the services and we provide the sectors that we work in provide news updates thought leadership and mm-hmm. um, for our member firms again it's doing exactly the same thing in their local marketplaces or in the even in further flung marketplaces but based on the sectors that they work in the most important thing is now that as neil mentioned they're they're all consistent we've got almost yeah. 70 websites that are in a consistent format, which is helping to build up the brand, helping each other get that extra recognition, yeah. gives us a lot more news that we can share between them. And the real plan now is to get us up to closer to 80 or 90. Yes, you're um, like a real network. Yeah, yeah. And some of those firms that are doing their own thing, that's because they're, they're very large firms and they may have mm-hmm. extremely complex oh. websites or they've got in-house teams, mm-hmm. but they are following the same guidelines. Mm-hmm. So even though those websites, oh, they're... With the same branding. Yes, like all okay. the same. So even though there may be, you know, 20, 25 like that, if you look at them for all intents and purposes, they're, they're yeah, very same. similar. Another aspect of the project was that um, we could uh, provide um, HTML templates to all those member firms as well. Uh, so the ones that aren't using our building host system and um, get the, um, get the, 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 package, the, the package website it. do get um, something that's going to be remarkably similar, if not exactly mm-hmm. the same. So. Mm-hmm. Um, and would you say you've had a positive outcome from the website redevelopment and redesign? Yeah, definitely. I mean, based on on kind of feedback alone, mm-hmm. um, written and verbal, has been fantastic. I think from our member firms who are actually taking the hosting solution, we've had great feedback of how it looks, how easy the platform yeah, is to use. Yeah, they're finding it easy to use. Definitely. Um, I think uh, we've had good feedback from those who actually develop the brand um, and how how it was translated into a website and a mobile. That's the the tough bit. And I think it Mm. it came across um, basically exactly as they were 
that yeah. you're hoping for. I mean, it looks great. You can see it on the screen. I think the fact that um, <laughs> testament to it is the fact that we can now build a website for our member firms within a couple of days and get an approval for them in a couple of days and get it live in a couple of days. Yeah, and so yeah. the, the, the start to finish project, you know, in a week or two, we can have a, an entire Absolutely. website built for a member firm. And to be, to be honest, that's, yeah. that's a game changer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, and it's now mobile friendly as well. Um, was the old site not mobile friendly? No, that's the thing. Um, we, um, the, but due to the, the the age of the site, the lack of investment into it, um, it was yeah. something that um, we. Was it? it was built in two thousand and nine. Yeah, I think. Uh, and so a decade. Yeah, wow. and and, and, and <laughs> yeah. so little investment in it. I mean, we'd been tweaking it and messing about with it, but it had no really? real. It was on a really old version of Umbraco wasn't mobile friendly and there was so much that it mm. couldn't do um so it was long overdue uh, yeah. and, and the and the result that we have now is you know it's been fantastic um and that's all from us thank you very much adam and neil uh, if you have any questions about umbraco or about the project we did with baker city please get in touch my emails on the screen thank you bye